Aloha from Hawaii. This is Arlen from HawaiiWP.com. Here's today's WordPress tip. I've been developing locally on my Mac using a program called MAMP. And if you're on the window, Windows, you probably use WAMP. But recently I found this program from ServerPress.com called Desktop Server. And it's simple and awesome. All they do is WordPress, so they do it very well. You can get it here from serverpress.com. You just go to Downloads. And they have a free version. Here you can download it for the Mac or for Windows. And this desktop server, it's only for WordPress. So it bundles the current install of WordPress with the download and it's very simple to install all you do is follow these instructions right here it give you great instructions on how to install it now I'm using the paid version it's only twenty five dollars a year for the paid version and you get things like multi-site support and all kinds of good stuff but let me show you real quickly how to s easy it is to set up a uh, local WordPress environment using desktop server Okay, so I'm just going to start desktop server. And I'm going to need to give it privileges because it's going to run PHP and MySQL. So I'm going to need to authenticate. Can you guess my password? Okay, so what I want to do is create a new development website. If you're using the free version, you won't get as many uh, options here but you will be able to create a new development website and here you can see the site name which I'm gonna change to WP tutorials and the version the current version of WordPress is here and you see the site root where, where this website is gonna live okay well I've installed a couple of custom bundles here I'm gonna go with the WordPress 3.3 release candidate one and I'm not gonna allow the multi-site network because I just wanna regular install of WordPress 3.3 just click create now this is creating the folder the host the server name all the good stuff right after this it'll create the the uh, database It'll edit the WP config file for me. It'll do everything and I don't have to do a thing. And that's why I love this. This is so easy. Um, but I don't know if I told you yet, but this is not just your standard WordPress install. I've actually copied a few plugins and a few themes into the install folder. So actually what I'm gonna get when this is done is a WordPress install that is ready for me to activate some plugins, activate a new theme, and get going really, really fast. So if you've got some go-to plugins that you use all the time, if you've got a theme or a theme framework that you use all the time, you can pre-build an installer so that when you install WordPress here with desktop server, it'll all come ready. Okay, it's done. So I'm going to click Next. All I have to do now is go to this URL and a WordPress install screen. How fast was that? WordPress tutorials. I'm going to use, oh, I spelled my name. I'm going to use my name. This uh, medium strength password that I like to use. And my email here. And install. That's it. I have installed WordPress. Now I can log in. And here you go. WordPress 3.3 with all of these little tips and what's changed since the last version. Let's close that. This is your normal layout. Right? If I come here to plugins, look at that all these plugins that I want to do tutorial videos on right here they're all set if I go to appearance themes look at that some themes that are ready to go 
So I'm going to show you those a little bit later. But how was this? Desktop server from serverpress.com. I was able to install a custom build of WordPress in three minutes, less than the famous five minute install. So, hope this helps. Desktop server has a lot of other cool features like exporting the entire WordPress build that you've created and other things. Some features are only with the paid version, but I really think you're going to love desktop server because it's powerful, it's simple, and it just makes me smile. Well, that's all for today. Aloha from Hawaii, and keep developing on WordPress.